Hello everyone, welcome back to the Global Space Program. Last episode, I failed. <laughs> How many times have I said that at the start of an episode? But anyway, last episode, I didn't get to Minmus because I completely mucked up the angle of the orbit and overshot and everything. So I'm going to have another another go. Was this? No, it was, no, it was the Minmus rover. Actually, how did I design that? Oh, that one. Okay. No, I'll... Um, load. I think it was, yeah, it was just that one. Okay, because it worked absolutely perfectly, it's just that, um, wow, <laughs> I failed miserably. So, let's have another go. Oh, we got Bill Jeb and Bob back. Oh, I noticed um, I was fiddling around with the settings menu, and I noticed that I had my persistent debris on um, zero rather than unlimited, which I, I usually have it on, which was kind of stupid. So I've um, changed that back to unlimited because of I was wondering why there wasn't any debris left anywhere, and it was because of that. So we're back to square one in terms of debris, which I have no problem with. So um, right, if I do that. Because I think these, if I right click and put lower, they do it separately. Yeah, whereas the lander legs, they all do it at the same time. So it saves time. Okay. SAS on, throttle up, and headphones on. <laughs> Check the staging. Looks good. Okay, and go. Okay, oh no, hang on. Wait a minute. Wait, I'll just wait for it to get a bit higher. And cut. Okay, we're going down, so parachutes. Yeah, I suddenly remembered something. Um, there was a bit of staging that I forgot right at the top, and I didn't put struts on it, because I should have done that last time. And... Kaboom. Everything explodes. That's just a time warp. Uh, we should still get Bill, Jeb and Bob back. Try saying that a few times with your mouth full. And one time. Boop. There we go. Okay, and the flight. VAB. And struts. Lots and lots of struts. Wow, not too many. Should automatically add them. No, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> Let's put it on six. Yep, there we go. And some at the top. And some on here. There we go. Okay, just to tie it all together. And staging up here. I think the problem was it would eject these too early. Um, where's the hard points? Why can't it select the hard points? Um, let me just zoom in. Wait, no, I got it then. No, I didn't. Ah, there, we, there, there it is. Oh, there are the struts. There are the land legs. Oh no, wait. Yeah, they're the land legs. Wait, hang on. If the land legs are there, they should be down here. Should they? No, they shouldn't. They should be here. Wait, hang on. No, I haven't gone all the way up. That's why. Okay. Um, all of these should 
<laughs> wait. Oh, wait, no, that was it, yeah. But it doesn't matter about any of that, it was this one. This was this decoupler. That would decouple at the same time as all of these. I don't want that, because otherwise, when I land and put the rover on the surface, all the wheels will fall off. Um, so I need to move that down... Um, no, these up here. To here. No. To there. That's it. So what that should do is, when I'm ready to come home, then it'll activate the engine at the back, and I'll be able to, and it, and it'll drop the wheels. Um, I think all the the engines already active by that time. Yeah, that engine should be up there. Because I'll be using the RCS to land, uh, to to sort of get off and um, rove around a bit. So that's there along with these four which should be up here. That fuel tank, those legs, that engine, those struts, that's fine. That is there. All of that's good. And then up here. Um all of that's good. This wait, oh um there was one bit. Wait, yeah, if I put the RCS down here. Um along with all of the thrusters. Oops just in case, and the engine as well, I think. Should I? No, because I don't want to use the engine until I take off. Although... No, because what I'll be doing is ejecting the wheels and using the RCS to take off, and then the engine will take over. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I think. <laughs> Yeah, if you scream, if I've made a mistake and you're screaming at me, uh, I apologise. Yep, we got Bill, Jeb, and Bob back because there's nothing else in orbit. Okay, G for gear. Raise these up. The throttle is up. Time warp off. Three, two, one. Okay, we've eliminated all the wobble. That's good. The fins are doing their job. It's rock solid. Oh, pretty much. Oh, wait, wait. We're getting some flex. Although the last one, it did flex so much that I, that I was a bit worried about not having struts here. That's why I added the struts there. We used up the first tank really quick. Oh, it's because it's a half tank. Actually, I could have put full-size tanks on there. Actually, I could fit quite a bit more fuel on this because it took off so fast. Although it isn't accelerating very, very fast, so that might not be a good idea. Oh, on the um, Winter Owls thread, um, the Winter Owls um, Kerbal Space Program forum thread thing, he has the list of all the multi users. So I'm gonna, I want some of his mods basically. I'm gonna select them by part because I don't want any of those ridiculous mods that. Are Horribly overpowered, or really just not, um, they, they, they're not very realistic. I'll just have the ones that I think should be added into the game, because um, I'm going to put them on next episode. Which is exciting. <laughs> Including the, um, the rover, the proper rover wheels that are powered, self powered, so you don't need RCS tanks or anything. So I actually could make a proper rover with, um, um, uh, one of the, what do you call them? They're called muon, de uh, muon, uh, yeah, muon detectors, but they detect mo um, monoliths and things. So I can have a proper powered rover that detects monoliths, and have an orbiter up in space with the um, with a, a ranged um, a ranged one, a range detector, 
to sort of find the rough location so I can then send the or send the rover down to find it. Just just for the hell of it, you know. Okay. Uh, I've just realised I should have started tipping over a while ago, but oh well. Ooh, that's not trying to rotate too much this time. That's good. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. Yes, it's good. The um, rover's currently on its side. I should have turned it around 90 degrees, but it doesn't really make that much difference. How high is the apple apsis? Oh, okay, I'll rotate around to the 90 then. Seeing as we're getting pretty near to being out of the atmosphere now. Ooh, 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 stop, stop, stop. That was good, that's good. Just rotate round as well. The wrong way. Oh well. I was trying to keep it steady. Oops. <laughs> Might have been a bit far. How long till the fuel runs out? Oh it's on it, it's on its uh, last tank. That's good. Now, only now are we getting some overheat, just as it runs out of fuel. Boom. Let them go. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> Should have pitched around more. That was stupid. Well, at least we'll be able to walk faster. Um, I'm just going to pitch it round. Spin it. The, in the direction that it should have been. <laughs> Oops. Not that much. Okay. And... Down. Just to get a bit more sideways momentum. Horizontal momentum because it is increasing speed very 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 slowly in fact I think I should point down a bit more out there a bit further to try and stop it from increasing the um, apple apsis too much We're heading straight to the tangent, which I believe would be further down. Okay, we're not increasing speed very much, so I'll just I'll just keep it up here for now. Okay, I think that's far enough. We'll just get round to here, up to the apoapsis. Pitch round <laughs> very slowly. It's quite a big ship, actually. And stop right there. And boost. Just tip around a tiny bit. Okay, that's good. Okay, we should be generating a periapsis any minute now. How much fuel have we got left? Two tanks, just under. That's good. Oh man, <laughs> this is taking ages. I don't want to fast forward it, you see. Oh, here we go. One and a half tanks. Right, the apparatus is 381. I want to get it up to a fairly round orbit. Okay, three, two, one, stop. 
How does that? 364, 399. That'll do. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now, where do I have to make the orbital correction? Right there. And I need to point to the south. <coughs> to the south, sorry. <laughs> Voice cracking up at that moment. Okay, around there. Wait, I'm on the other side. Okay, I need to point to the... Wait. Wait, point to the north. Yeah, I was on the wrong side of the uh, planet. No, wait, hang on. If I'm going that way and I want to tip it that way, I do need to go to the south. Okay. Ooh, quite high up. Well, of course we are. <laughs> Okay, which way? Yeah, we are going that way, good. Just to be sure that I am pointing in the right direction. So we've got about just over a tank of fuel left in this stage. I want this stage to last long enough <laughs> to get to Minmus. I've wasted quite a bit of fuel. I was hoping to crash it on the surface of Minmus, but... Yeah, that's doing the right thing. Yeah, I was hoping to crash it on the surface of Minmus, but I don't think I've got um, enough fuel actually in the tank. I'd be lucky if I actually got to Minmus with it. But at least I've got enough fuel overall to get to Minmus and everything. Um, okay, that's enough. There's somebody was uh, telling me to use X to cut the engine, so I, I normally do that, but not always. So... I need to... I know last time I completely mucked it up. I was almost right, it's just I was too far out when Minmus came over. So... I'll just do what I did then, I think. Ah, uh, so I time warp to 100 times. 364... 417. Okay. Wait, it's not in the glare of the sun, is it? Where is the sun? It's behind me. Good, so I should be able to see Minmus. If I just point in the direction that I'm travelling... I think that's the opposite direction. Oh well. 